All right, look what we got, guys. We just picked up some boxes from the bank today. We got four boxes of half dollars. At least one of these, maybe two of these, will be for our live stream that we have coming up. I'm going to go ahead and crack one of these open right now. All right, guys, we have a box of half dollars here. I actually already opened up one of the boxes uh, that I had. Nothing really in there. I found one uh, somewhat interestingly toned coin. But other than that, no proofs, no silver. So we're going to get into this box, and hopefully we can turn that around. So let's go ahead and well, let's just go ahead and open this up right now. Or not. And I don't want us in here for some reason. I'm guessing that does not mean X marks the spot for the treasure. All right, well, I don't see anything on this side here, so let's go ahead and get into these rolls. All right, we have a 2010 Philadelphia NIFC. Now we're about a fourth of the way through the box there, and that's really our first find. All right, cool. Looks like we have a strike through grease error here. This coin is all sorts of messed up. Check this out, guys. Wow. I'll have to get some close-up pictures of this one uh, at the very end. But look at this. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if I'm correct on that. It's a, a strike through grease. Look at the, uh, you can barely even make out the date here. I can make out the one, the nine. Looks like the last digit might be a... Uh, Gosh, I can't tell. That is interesting. We'll hold on to that one for sure. And we'll get some close-ups of that at the end. All right. Nice find. All right, we have an, our second NIFC of the box. Another 2010 Philadelphia. That's what our first one was. This one might be a proof here. It's pretty thick. It is not. It's a 1986 Philadelphia. Wow. That's impressive. Man, that just looks like a proof, but it's not. Well, we'll hold on to those for the time Set being. Set that aside. We'll take a look at those a little. Oh, I just saw something. I saw the flash of a rainbow. So we've got a nice rainbow toned coin here. This one's pretty cool. 1974. third in IFC at 2014 Denver. Interesting. Looks like we have, what is that? Is that a cut air? reverse side of a bicentennial find some pretty cool coins and that one's actually in really nice condition too twenty thirteen Denver add that to our little pile of NIFCs we got going on there and here are the finds after searching through that box of half dollars. We had four NIFCs, a 2010, actually two 2010s, both were Philadelphia's, 
a 2013 Denver and a 2014 Philadelphia. And uh, this middle roll here is uh, just some of the nicer ones that we found. Uh, in really nice condition, we have a 1978 Denver. I like to hold on to these uh, uncirculated or almost uncirculated coins. I don't have any half dollar albums uh, as of yet, but I probably will. And we have a 1979 Denver that's in pretty good shape, as well as this 1986 Philadelphia. These have really th thick rims. I noticed a lot of the 80s uh, half dollars have really thick rims. A couple of these I thought may have been proofs, but uh, uh, they weren't. But we'll hold on to those. And then some of our more interesting finds. I found this uh, bicentennial here. And on the reverse side, I think we have uh, what's called a cut air. I don't know, maybe somebody can leave a comment down below in the or yeah down below in the comments and let me know um, if that's anything significant but I've seen pictures of what's called a cud and it looks like that might be might be it I don't know if uh, that's caused by a die break or or what the deal is but uh, anyway so hold on to that one and I found this really cool rainbow toned one this one looks a lot, a lot better in person, but you can kind of get the effect there. And the uh, obverse uh, shows it a little bit more than the reverse, but you can kind of get an idea. Real neat rainbow toning, especially on the front there. And then this one here, uh, again, somebody let me know in the comments what this is. Um, it looks to me, uh, again, based on other pictures and what other people have said, uh, it looks like maybe a strike through air, like through grease or something. I mean, this is pretty, pretty crazy looking. Can't, I can't even make the date out. Well, it looks like maybe it might be, it looks like that might be a seven and a one. So maybe a 1971. Um, but yeah, it's just got this real textured look to it. Uh, the back is up here where it says America and also down the half. Clearly not a, uh, a solid strike there. So let me know what you guys think of that one. But that one's pretty cool. I'll hold on to that as well. Uh, no silver, no proofs um, in this box, but definitely uh, some cool finds nonetheless. So happy to find them. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you guys in the next one.